Hello, fellow Capricorns. It's time for our January to February reading of this current year. Hooray! Guess what these deck is? What are those? Well, they are the Starman Tarot deck. Um, by David De La Angelis, inspired by the artwork he created for David Bowie. David Bowie was one of my favorite musicians or singers or whatever the fuck he was when I was growing up. I always loved him. He was supposed to be my future ex-husband number 13. I told it to my husband. He was really shocked at a thing for David Bowie. Like, he was really shocked about that. He was just like, David Bowie? And then he was like, wait, you have like 12 other dudes ahead of me when I die? I was like, well, not anymore. Like, he's dead. <laughs> but anyway, I carry on. David Bowie was also a Capricorn, too. January one, luckily, so it wasn't too bad. But we're going to use these cards, and I think you guys are really going to like these cards a lot. My husband again? Anyway, no whammies. So, here are the cards we've got at first. Prince of Swords Reversed. Two of Wands. Rens is a Cups Reverse. She keeps coming up as reversed a lot, I have to say. She has not been upright this entire day, couple days. Two of Cups Reversed. Pink Pentacles. The Wheel Reversed. And the beginning theme is the Empress. The Mother Figure. The pregnant incarnation of growth and development and production. What? Phone? What is wrong with you? You're being ridiculous, okay? She could be a female Aries or this could be you Capricorn. Just feeling in your element when it comes to your feelings, how you're nurturing, even to your toward yourself. You're calm, you're dedicated, you got the mother vibe going on, or you'd be like, oh, come here, my child. Let me tell you while I read you a bedtime story and feed you chicken noodle soup and hot chocolate. You were just totally kind. Which is rare, because we're me. <laughs> but here's this Prince of Swords here, right? And he's reversed, and usually that's like... It's usually reverse. he's running away from a situation. Right? Because he doesn't want to talk about it. In this regard, I, I really feel like he's still running, but he's running forward with a false story to make it look like he's gotten injured or he's got a bleeding whatever. Like, he caused his own self-injury and is now getting sympathy from somebody. Like, running to talk, but not about the situation. Just other stuff to make people forget. Or not involved in the situation entirely, I feel like. That's the vibe I'm getting with it. Reversed. Like, I like these cards. I'm definitely feeling her vibe and shit. Very, very comforting. Um. Oh, okay. Cool. Possibly with an Aquarius in the middle. Or they're trying to heal from something. Maybe that's how you're feeling. Like, maybe you don't want to actually talk about the situation because you're trying to recover from it. You might have some air in you. Possibly an Aquarius you're dealing with, too, with this. It, or you can have Aquarius in your thingy. But it sounds like someone who's not wanting to talk about the major subject and is kind of going around with different issues that really are a life injury. Because they're trying to heal from what it is. Like, the less you talk about it, the more you think about it. Or, well, no. Well, no, it's the more you talk about it, the more you think about it. Like, I don't know. It's just, I'm getting the vibe that someone's keeping their mind off of it in order for them to heal on it. 
because if they keep it in their mind, it's just going to keep spinning it around. Like, it's both air, so there's definitely mental elements, right? The Ten of Cups down here, someone is dissatisfied that they didn't get a new start. Someone is not happy that they did not get a new start. I'm not happy my cards keep going all over the freaking ground. I gotta bend forward to get it. Ugh. That's the sucky part. Especially since I got a child in me. That makes it really difficult, but it's whatever. But yeah, like... Someone is definitely come to a point where they are not happy. Or they don't, in some way, feel included, I almost feel like. There's a lot of gathering right here. A lot of cups, but it's like no one's really looking at each other to communicate. And it's like, I just don't think anybody's interested in anyone anymore. And they're not giving the cup out now. They're keeping all ten cups. And they're not about to give that one. Or they're not going to take that one. Why? Because the cups bore them. They don't have anything to do with the cups. Like, they have their own cups. They're complete. Even though the completion is boring to them, they still don't want that other cup, I feel like. Um, two of Wands. Someone needs to come to a decision between... Something to do with this Prince of Cups who's in the negative, And this Prince of Swords who's trying to heal by not talking about a situation. Like, even me Capricorn avoiding talking about a situation is bringing up bullshit to avoid it. Um, Knight of Wands. Someone's definitely like charging in, and it looks like they want to charge into this right here. <sighs> and we got the King of Pentacles down below is going against you, like someone being snooty with their merchandise, not really being the kind father figure or the kind masculine energy that they should be in this regard. Um, not willing to work on something. So... What someone's wanting to do is make a decision about this air sign and actually charge to it with the Knight of Wands because they're both facing the same direction. They're both going this way to the past. But what's going against that is that they don't want to work on something. There's nothing to work on. There's nothing to communicate why they should keep concentrating their focus and energy on it. Like, what would stir my imagination? I'm already bored of the cups I have. What can you give me by giving me that one singular cup? Which doesn't even look like a great a cup that is anyway. Like, what, what can you give me that I don't already have for myself? I got two. This Princess of Cups, who someone has in their fears and rejections, right? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces type? Kind of immature. Doesn't really want to communicate their emotions. Because they're feeling left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. Or, they're being cruel and putting somebody out in the Five of Pentacles energy. And since the wheel is stuck in the catalyst as well as the, uh, well, no, 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 no. The wheel is, is upside down, but it's coming out of that energy with the devil reversed. So when I think it's starting to release themselves a little bit. Yeah, because both of these people are down in this position where they feel left out, and I think they're starting to come out of that a little bit. Either that, or they're just not really trying to work on it in order for it to come out, since the wheel is reversed as well. Oh, hello. I'm not picking you. No, no, no. Don't feel like it. Doop, doop, doop. Uh, justice reverse. <laughs> what? Okay, so there is some imbalance, maybe with a Libra, or something like that, or... This is this Libra's card. There might have been some injustice somewhere, and now you're on top of it, Capricorns. Because you're like, yeah, it's cool, I got this. I don't need this kind of justice in order to be cool with myself. Because I feel like whatever this is right here, like... You are not involved very greatly on emotions, except for over here where it's like, 
I, I don't care how many cups I have. I'm bored with them. What's having another cup going to do for me? Or, like, if this cup isn't even offered, like... I don't know. I don't, I don't think anything would inspire you to feel any better to take those cups, really. It's like, why would I want these cups? Why would I want that cup? Like, I feel like someone doesn't even like their cups, but they're not even willing to offer one out. Like, they have plenty, and they're bored with just having it all to themselves, but they're not willing to offer any out. Like, they'd rather, like, just keep it away than actually, like, offer some, because, you know, who knows? Someone might spill a cup. Um... Yeah, and here's the five of wands. Someone wants to come out of some conflict. Apparently. Like, apparently there was stuff going on around and there was a lot of action packed and someone's trying to run away with the foxes in order to get away with it. In order to heal. Distracting from anything whatsoever. Not even wanting to invest in giving a cup out right now. They're just, I guess, bored and pretty with them. And they still need to come to some... Now, now it... What? First he's going this way back here. Now he's going this way. Two of Wands. He changed his position as he decided to lead the conflict. So now he's going towards the future to another choice. Which could be this choice since he's facing this way. Happiness. The sun. Possibly a Leo. Really shitty foundation, possibly. <laughs> um. Hmm. Capricorns, I feel like some of you could possibly be like in a position where you're missing somebody. Who you know is bad for you. On both sides, mind you. You know, I'm just... That, that's just how I'm seeing it. So, like, just don't get mad at me for that, right? Like, just don't get upset. But I'm just saying, that's what it feels like to me. Like, you're trying to make a choice between somebody you don't like and somebody you hate. And it's just, like, you're not offering any way, anything this way. And this person is just staying in this lack of focus almost energy like not wanting to move out of this position of being stuck they're just you know and it's like like sure it'll make you happy but like you know that it's not like this one might bring you some happiness you might feel relief from it but for how long because this is ten of pentacles reverse you know like the good times are not going to last forever there's not enough foundation, there's not enough building with this side, you know, like, what is the point of going to something that makes you happy if it's not going to be worth your while? Get your value out of it, you know? And I'll say right now, I don't think you guys need to be looking into either side of this. If that's the case, you have the Empress right here, you have everything you want. Sure, you're bored with your cups, but fuck that. You know, get bored, get comfortable with it. Embrace your own, you know? my advice to you Capricorns hopefully you'll take it with a grain of salt but if not like appreciate your value in me but I'm just letting you all know like don't get stuck in this it's a fucking trap <laughs> I'll see you guys later bye bye